Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we want to talk about storage architecture in the NetApp storage. In the NetApp storage, we uh, divided the storage architecture to do two different layers. One is physical layer and the other one is logical layer. As you can see in the picture, at the right here at the bottom, we have the disks and hard disks. These are physical disks like SATA disk, like SAS disk or SSDs. Uh, these are the disks that at the end of the day we are putting our data inside it. Uh, we're gathering, we're actually we're combining and grouping these, these together and creating something called the RAID group. And if you're not familiar with the term RAIDs and RAID groups, uh, actually the, I mean, the RAID itself, it's, it's not really uh, the case right now. Don't worry, you'll learn it in the next section. I'll talk about the different configuration of the RAID and how they're working. But uh, uh, as, uh, as you may know, the RAID is just a redundant way of keeping the, the data safe on the disks in order if you have a disk failure, we can recover the actual data from disks and uh, you can calculate actually the data that is uh, lost. But anyway, so uh, we are combining these physical lists together and we are going to create a RAID group and we have different RAIDs like RAID 4, RAID DP or RAID Tech for uh, three parities and we are creating RAID groups here and then we are combining one or more than one I mean two or three or different RAID groups together and then we are going to create an aggregate so we have a term aggregate in the, in the NetApp storage so in other war I can say that disks are grouped into RAID groups and I can say that an aggregate is a collection of physical disk space that contain one or more RAID groups, right? So there are just different layers that we are using here. And at the end of the day, until here, until this aggregate, I can say that uh, these are actually the in the physical layer. So I can uh, grab a picture for you here uh, I can show you that until here I actually this part is the physical part and the other part which is here it's a mutually logical part <clears throat> so this goes here this goes here so the storage, the actual the NetApp storage, what it's doing is just mapping the physical storage resources to logical containers. That's the way the, the storage is actually doing. For the logical containers, if I want to talk about logical parts, we usually have volumes, right? In, in the NetApp, we call it flex wall volumes. And, uh, and inside actual volumes, we have LANs or we have our files that we can serve the data out of this. Uh, these volumes and at the end of the day we can say that a volume or a flex volume is an allocation of disks right disk space that is a portion of the available space in the aggregate and the aggregate is also contains some uh, RAID groups which we have RAID here at this level if you take a look at closely you can easily understand that these are just some layer of abstractions we have LANs and files inside the volumes and the volumes are actually the free space and the aggregate and the aggregates are allocation of different rate groups here which we have the physical rate on them and then each rate group consists of different disks which it, they could be uh, SATA disks, SAS disks, SSD disks. So here is the actual architecture of the storage, NetApp storage. Uh, Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.